Hi everyone! We are going to make convertible color patterns. My name is Jean and I'm helping fashion students to improve their pattern making skills. Do you want to make patterns with confidence? Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any lessons. Today, I'm going to show you how to draft a convertible color. When you button up, it looks like this. And when you unbutton, it's like this. There are some different ways to draft this color. I'll show you one of them in this lesson and we'll draw other ways in the future episode. Let's get started. To make color patterns, you need neck measurement from the body patterns. Let's say you draw front and back body patterns already, then get your front neck measurement and back neck measurement. As I said in the previous video, when you measure the front neck, measure the extension separately. For this convertible color, you don't need the measurement of extension. So you just have a back neck and front neck. And I'm saying back neck measurement and front neck measurement is actually a half of your back neck and a half of your front neck. But because we make patterns only half of our body, I'm just saying back neck and front neck. Okay, uh, let's draw a guideline. Length could be front neck plus back neck. It doesn't have to be exact for now. And draw a guideline. This is your center back and fold line at the same time. From CBN, center back neck, measure your back neck first. This is HSP, high shoulder point. From there, measure the front neck. And from here, go up half of an inch, connect to high shoulder point. We're gonna make this line curved. Uh, I would say one eighth of an inch lower than the guide line and draw a curved line smoothly. Let's go back to the center back. I'm going to have a three inches color width. So go up three inches and draw a straight line. The color shape could be various depending on your design. You can draw more pointed or wider or round. But for today's lesson, let's go one inch from the front guideline and connect to the center front neck. It's a simple, right? When you trace it out, center back will be folded. So then it will be like this and you will cut two pieces of color. If you don't want to have the seam along the color edge, you can fold it as well because it's straight line. Then you will cut only one piece of color. If you want to learn how to make a shirt color, I have a video. Or if you don't want to have any color, if you want to have neck facing instead of colors, then you can watch this video. Have an amazing week, my friends. See you next time.